the mountain. Welcome back. It's time for another qualifying race in King of the Mountain. We've got a Nissan, BMW, Chevy, and a Ford. Up first, it's B. Cavello driving for Mission 307. B. Cavello comes from Washington, D.C. and is driving in the Nissan Silvia S13. That's a pretty cool doodle art style paint job. Yes, very cool. Then up next, we have Derp the Robot in the BMW M1. I knew it was only a matter of time before AI took over diecast racing, and the moment is here. Well, we'll have to see how this machine stacks up against the other drivers. Always look at the hands. That's how you know if it's AI. Well, up next, he's mad. Oh, boy. He's angry. Watch out now. It's Angry Al in the Chevy Camaro Z28. Angry Al, fresh out of a mud pit or something. He does not believe in washing his car. Well, he's Angry Al. And then finally, we have... Oh, my. Oh, oh goodness. You all right? No, I just... <clears throat> A little in my mouth. Uh, you sure? I'm okay. You need some water? No, I'm good. It's uh, King Jester 65, who apparently thought this was uh, Demolition Derby or Junkyard Wars or something. That's a salvage title for sure. It's something. Well, somewhere underneath all that Bondo is a Ford Sierra Cosworth, apparently. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Certainly an interesting matchup today. Top driver in points advances on the King of the Mountain Season 4 Tournament Number 1, and they are off for the races. B. Cavello in the lead, followed by Angry Al. Such a contrast here tonight. B. Cavello's car is like a work of art. Jester 65's car. 2D, be nice. It's a work in progress. That's fair. B. Cavello absolutely dominating race one and will take the first win with a track time of 15.4524 seconds. Oh, come on, don't ruin that paint job. A little fender bender at the finish line. All four cars get involved. You know, in the dark, if you squint your eyes a little bit, that Cosworth doesn't look half bad. The night racing can be forgiving to paint jobs that are in progress. Ooh, I just got an idea. When paint jobs go wrong, a new series coming to the 3D Bot Maker channel. You know, after four seasons of King of the Mountain, we actually have some entries for that show, but no, we're not going to do that. Oh, come on. I'm already thinking of a spinoff series when cars don't roll. Unfortunately, we have quite a few cars that could qualify for that as well, but... Come on, let's do it. Who would want to see cars with bad paint jobs that don't roll? Everyone. Nobody wants to see that. If you guys are with me, let 3D know in the comment section that you want to see cars with bad paint jobs that can't roll. Are you even listening to the words that are coming out of your mouth? All I hear are the words of a genius. <laughs> wow, okay. Anyways, here we go with race two. Derp the Robot leading this race so far. B. Cavello in second place. Come on, B. You can beat the AI. Oh, Whoa. Camaro down. Oh, boy. Al's going to be angry. There goes B. Cavello with the overtake. Yeah, B. Stick it to the machine. But here comes Derp the Robot to take the lead right back. Oh, it's not fair. It's AI. It's cheating. Let's see if B. Cavello can do it again. A chase to the finish, but Derp the Robot. Oh, wow. That was rough. A nasty wreck at the finish. Oh, and look at King Jester. Is this whole thing a joke to him? Derp the Robot takes the win. That will put him in second place, one point behind B. Cavello. And there's Angry Al upside down on the first big turn. He wrecked that Camaro right away. He's got to be pissed about that. He hits the side barrier there pretty hard. And I think that blown motor on the top is going to give him some balancing issues. It does look cool, though. Here comes the track crew to help out. Wow. wow. I guess the track crew is going to need assistance as well. Well, I guess that's job security. Let's cut to a replay of that exchange between B. Cavello and Derp the Robot right there. B. Cavello overtaking Derp, but then Derp the Robot overtakes B. Cavello on the inside. Great calculation made there by Derp the Robot. Calculating is what machines do, but I still say it's cheating. Well, we didn't put any rules in to say no robot drivers. Well, there should be. And it is the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League. You know, I never understood the name. Oh boy, I'm scared to say this, but I hear the track crew's coming oh, again. Wow. Hey. That actually wasn't bad. Nice job. It was okay. Good job there. We should take this time to mention that this race is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. Have you ever given a bad Father's Day gift? Oh yeah, one time I gave my dad a pair of socks and he took me out of his will. Wow, that's kind of harsh. But the good news is, Ridge is making gifting easy with their biggest sale of the year for Father's Day. Tell dad to say goodbye to that old bulky wallet and hello to the Ridge. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash while remaining as slim as possible. Nice. With over 30 colors and styles to choose from like carbon fiber and burnt titanium, you're sure to find just the right one for dad. I like that carbon fiber. Ridge also makes these really cool key cases that hold up to six keys, stop all that jingling, and you can match the style to your Ridge wallet. Sweet. With over 3 million customers and 50,000 five-star reviews. Ridge is so confident your dad will like it, they'll let him test drive it for 99 days. If he doesn't love it, you can send it back for a full refund. Wow, I wish I could send those socks back. Just go to ridge.com forward slash 3dbotmaker to get the best savings and be a gift-giving hero this Father's Day. That's ridge.com forward slash 3dbotmaker. Maybe he'll put me back in the will. You seriously gave him socks? I didn't know about Ridge. That's two races down, two to go. B. Cavello sitting on top with eight points. 
Derp the Robot has seven. Angry Al and King Jester 65 both have three. Jester 65 has the pole, and by the looks of that car, he's ran into a few as well. Angry Al on the outside, pulling ahead. Oh, oh wow. Al Rex, but he's still going. How'd he do that? Oh, and he's crashed again, I, I think. He's a madman. B Cavella once again out in front of everybody. Uh -oh. Whoa. That car's getting loose. Somehow B manages to tame it and bring it past the finish line for B Cavello's second win of the night. That is going to be big for B on the scoreboard. Derp the Robot comes in second place, and that's going to be a DNF for Angry Al and King Jester 65. Wow, double DNF. What is going on with Angry Al's car? I think it's a mixture of bad balancing and road rage. Well, now I can see why his car is so dirty. You know what they say, go big or go home. Angry Al? He's going home. Well, yeah, he is going to go home. And how many times did he wreck on this race? That's actually a good question. I'm not sure if we've had anybody wreck twice before in a race. He crashed on the first big turn, recovered, then crashed again. So Angry Al may have made a little history here tonight. Mr. Al, we salute you. Okay, here we go. Fourth and final race. B Cavello has 13, Derp the Robot has 10. The other two drivers do not matter at this point. B Cavello on the front right in the white and black car. Derp the Robot right behind in the silver BMW. Right now, Angry Al has the lead, but here comes B Cavello. There's contact going around the turn. Angry Al going backwards now. It appears he's telling B Cavello that he's number one, which is not true. Not even close. Angry Al sliding around them. B Cavello overtakes Angry Al. Oh, and he crashed again. And he's back up. That guy's crazy. B Cavello takes the win and will be advancing on to King of the Mountain Season 4, tournament number one, ending this round with an 18-point score. Very close to a perfect score. And on the other end, Angry Al and King Jester ending this race with only three points. I think Angry Al really has some issues that he needs to work out before he comes to the racetrack. But with that said, I do have to give him some props for attempting to do a crazy Jimmy maneuver. Right here, he tries going around that turn backwards, backs into the wall. That opens up the lane for B Cavello to pass. And then I think Angry Al ran into the light post. Man, it was just a bad night for Angry Al. B Cavello will be moving on to the tournament and is currently qualified in fifth place with a track time of 15.4524 seconds. We're down to one qualifying race left before the start of King of the Mountain Season 4, tournament number one. Oh yeah, it's almost tournament time. We hope you enjoyed this race. If you did, leave us a comment below. Hashtag when paint jobs go wrong and cars can't roll. Please do not encourage 2D with his bad ideas. It's genius. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And you've been watching King, King of, of the, the Mountain. Mountain.